Hello and welcome to this week's News Bulletin Roundup at the International News Channel. Let's take a look at the headlines. World projected to reach 2.4 Celsius despite COP26 goals. Travis Scott and Drake sued over events at Astroworld. Calls to ban fossil fuel delegates from attending climate summit. London, Ontario terrorists possibly motivated by New Zealand mosque shooter. Chile's lower house votes to impeach President Sebastian Panera over Pandora Papers. Jagmeet Singh states that there is no coalition between NDP and Liberals. France increases COVID measures. To begin, despite pledges made at the COP26 meeting, the world is nowhere near reaching their aim of keeping the global temperature at 1.5 degrees Celsius. Instead, it seems that the world is more likely to achieve the global temperature of 2.4 Celsius, according to the new analysis by Climate Action Tracker. Although it seems like a small difference, it is the one which would result in major climate changes across the globe. It could lead to flooding, severe thunderstorms, fatal heat, and humidity levels. Scientists urge the world to limit their global temperature to 1.5 Celsius so they can prevent the most dangerous consequences of climate change from hitting us. Turning now to the Astroworld Festival in Texas, where eight people lost their lives and hundreds were injured. Two attendees were injured at the concert and alleged that Travis Scott and Drake incited the crowd, and both are seeking $1 million from the performers. Additionally, the Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo has called for an independent and objective investigation into the rap festival. Many sources have reported that the lawsuits are expected to increase. Importantly, those who lost their lives ranged from the ages of 14 to 27. In other news, BBC reports that there are more delegates representing the fossil fuel industry than any one country in the COP26. Specifically, 503 people had some link to fossil fuel interests. These individuals are rumored to lobby for oil and gas industries. Many campaigners have argued that they should be banned. They state that these representatives have prevented real action that could avoid a climate crisis. Murray Worthy of Global Witness also argues that their impact has been one of the most core reasons why the UN climate talks have not resulted in any practical changes. Over in Canada, many were horrified this past summer when a Muslim family was struck by a man killing four members of the family. Since then, written materials have been found by police indicated that the killer was motivated by a gunman in New Zealand. This New Zealand man killed 51 people at two mosques in 2019. Initially, lawyers charged the London attacker with four counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. Since then, terrorism charges have been added. Turning now to Chile, where the lower house voted to impeach President Sebastian Pinera over allegations made against him in the Pandora Papers investigation. 78 votes were needed to approve the impeachment trial, and these votes were cast in the session. This means that the issue now moves to the Senate. The motion would need two-thirds majority in both houses in order to pass. Pinera, on the other hand, argues that the transactions recorded on the Pandora Papers reports are nothing new, that they have already been investigated and resolved. However, Chile's prosecutor's office argues that the initial investigation missed key details, which the Pandora Papers note. In other news, rumors have been circulating that there could be a coalition between the NDP and Liberals so that the Liberal government of Canada can pass their motions with more ease in Parliament. Since the NDP leader Jagmeet Singh has come forward to state that there will not be a coalition between the NDP and Liberals. However, Singh has not ruled out cooperation with the Liberal government. He remains open towards the agreement, but as of yet, no offer has been made. There is no agreement of that nature um, before us. Uh, we are prepared to find ways to make the government work or the parliament work for people. And we're open to discussions about how we can make parliament work to deliver what people need. But there is no such agreement. Lastly, French President Emmanuel Macron pushes people who have not received their first dose of COVID vaccine to do so immediately. The country is beginning to see a slow rise of infections and hospitalizations. Resultantly, Macron states that school children will have to wear masks all day long once again. Additionally, anyone aged 65 and over will be expected to get a booster shot by December 15th. If they have not received one, their health pass will not be reactivated. 
This would exclude them from accessing restaurants, cafes, cultural events, and some rail travel. That's all for today. You're watching the International News Channel. I'm Julia Cosby. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss any of our latest content.